Sub-clearance planes allow movement from feature to feature without retracting to the parent clearance plane. After a feature is complete the stylus retracts to the clearance plane. To keep the stylus inside the pocket to measure other features, and reduce inefficient movement, create a sub-clearance plane. A sub-clearance plane will allow you to set the distance the stylus will retract when moving from one feature to another. To create a sub-clearance plane, select the plan menu and click on sub-clearance. This will open the sub-clearance dialog box. Click on the new button. Assign the name to the new sub-clearance plane. Select the parent group for the sub-clearance plane. This would be the direct you would like the stylus to retract. In our example, it will be the minus Y direction. Check the retract to inner plane box. Enter a value here to create the sub-clearance plane. We have set the sub-clearance plane and we are now ready to assign it to our features. To assign the sub-clearance plane to a feature, click on the Clearance Group menu and select the SCP group. The new sub-clearance plane will be listed here. The stylus will now retract to the sub-clearance plane when moving from feature to feature. This will make your program moves more efficient. When you are finished with the sub-clearance, simply assign the clearance plane to the next feature and the stylus will move to that clearance plane before the next feature.